Hello, this is David, one of the techs here at Micro Center. Today I will show you how to view previous recordings on your D5000H DHD VR and also how to export them to a flash drive. Let's begin. Okay, the easiest method to get to your recordings is to right click on the camera feed screen and then click on search. Next, you'll go ahead and select your camera feed over to the right. You'll click on these camera feed buttons here to toggle which camera feeds you want to view. Above the camera feeds, you'll go ahead and uh, select the date and the calendar for the recordings you want to view. Now down here in the uh, blue and green section, you'll see uh, time frames up above. Uh, they are one hour segments. You'll click on a segment and it'll pull up the recordings for that point in time. Now over to the left uh, above the segments, you'll see your standard control buttons, uh, fast forward, rewind, pause, and play. You'll use those to control your playbacks. Now that is how you play back recordings. Moving on to exporting, uh, you want to make sure you have your USB drive connected in the back of the DVR and select the uh, button that has the three lines on it. This will pull up a menu that you can select each segment you may want to export. Uh, just go ahead and put a check in the checkbox and then click on the folder icon on the bottom right. And this will pull up a screen in which you can select a flash drive to save to. And below that, you'll have your different segments you can select. Uh, just put a check next to the box. Now, once you're done selecting, you can export in two different ways. Um, if you leave the AVI button unchecked, then it will go ahead and export in a .dav file. A .dav file is a DVR-specific uh, format. Uh, specific types of media players will be required to play such a file. If you need to export the file in a more universal way where most media players will be able to play your recording, uh, you can put a check in the AVI box. And then finally, click on start at the bottom of the uh, message to begin the backup. Uh, this can take a while depending on how many recordings you are backing up to the drive. And once the backup is complete, you'll get a success message up on the screen indicating that it's safe to remove the flash drive for transfer. And that concludes today's video. If you have any further questions, you can visit us at microcentertech.com. And thank you for watching.